Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very urgent, critical update to give you. It is starting. What we've been talking about on the channel all along now, we're already getting the evidence that it has started and has never been this bad. The details and information that I uncovered in these two reports are telling me that this next financial crisis could rival the 2008 global financial crisis. But what exactly is it? Well, that's a commercial real estate market that is absolutely tanking right now, but there is some new huge, huge risks. Landlords are giving up. They can no longer afford to repay their mortgages and they're simply walking away leaving hotels that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, but not just hotels, malls, and other office buildings as well. And like I keep warning about, this couldn't come at a worse time because the banks are already taking huge losses uh, from their bond portfolio, from interest rates going up so much. But people, wait till you see what I get into this report on what's about to happen to these commercial mortgage-backed securities and the huge losses the banks are facing. So everyone, you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to this one because this could be it. Let's get into it. So this is our first story story everyone now you may have heard of this story already but wait till you see what other data i found on top of this so park hotel stopped debt payments on two san francisco properties now why this is talking about san francisco this is about to happen across the whole us again with the data which i'll get into in a moment and this is also happening around the world if you're watching in australia if you're watching in canada uk this is a global phenomenon now just very quickly everyone this is the last week of the pre-sale for my course the golden park to wealth mastering the trinity portfolio by gold silver and bitcoin it's only 149 dollars now uh during the pre-launch i've added a bunch of lectures already uh but after this week the price will be going up as we add more content because if what i show you comes true you're definitely going to want a safe haven asset and also a way to get out of the financial system so let's keep reading everyone so park hotels and resorts inc has stopped making payments on a loan tied to hilton san francisco union square and the park 55 san francisco so these are the two cities' largest hotels, dealing another blow to a downtown struggling with remote work and mounting public safety concerns. Well, everyone, I think we saw this coming from a mile away, but it seems like people are still blind and they still keep voting for the same policies. And that whole defund the police movement seems like it's really working out well. So Park is working with services on 725 million loan to determine the best path forward for the 1,921 room Hilton property and a 1,024 room Park 55 hotel. The company expects it will eventually remove the hotels from its portfolio. And you better believe much more other companies are facing this. Now more than ever, we believe San Francisco's path to recovery remains clouded and elongated by major challenges. The city faces record high office vacancy, concerns over street conditions, lower return to offices than peer cities, and weaker than expected city Y convention calendar through to 2027. The last few years have been tumultuous for hotels, which were battered by early COVID lockdowns. While leisure and travel has enjoyed a robust rebound, business trips have been slower to recover, putting stress on big properties in urban areas. So these hotels are already suffering from lockdowns, but also people aren't returning to the office and they're not returning to the city because of how unsafe and how unlivable it's become. San Francisco hotels have been especially vulnerable. The city's office market has seen occupancies plummet. As tech employees embrace work from home anywhere modules and cut back on office spaces and startups started worrying about ability to raise new money. The city itself is facing worsening budget challenges with majority of residents saying San Francisco is on the wrong track. I don't know about you everyone, but are you noticing that certain cities run by a specific political party seems to all be facing the same issue? I don't know, you tell me. But wait, it just gets worse and then we're going to go over the real data that tells us this is going to lead to a financial crisis. In the case of park properties, stopping payments on non-recourse loans, which were funded through the commercial mortgage-backed securities market and matures in November, will remove a drag on companies' balance sheet and operating performance according to the statement. Well, 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 everyone. In 2008, it was a residential mortgage-backed securities, but in 2023, it's going to be these commercial mortgage-backed securities that lead to a new financial crisis. Because look what's about to happen. So landlords face 1.5 trillion bill for interest-only commercial mortgages. Wow, interest-only loans. What could possibly go wrong, everyone? Interest-only loans is a share of new commercial mortgage-backed securities issuance increased to 88 percent in 2021 that's up from 51 percent in 2013 according to trep 
Did you hear that everyone? 88% of new commercial mortgage-backed securities that they're issuing are interest only. That tells me the majority of these commercial landlords are gonna go bust. Because listen to this, a trend walking away from commercial mortgages is just the beginning. The Wall Street Journal reports interest-only loans help commercial property boom, now they're coming due. Fitch Ratings recently estimated that 35% of pooled securitized commercial mortgage-backed securities coming due between April and December 2023 won't be able to refinance based on current interest rates and the property's incomes and values. People, I don't know if you understand how huge this is. 35% of these new loans that are going to refinance this year, they are not going to be able to do it with these current interest rates and interest rates could go even higher. And guess what? We haven't seen this since the 1990s. And listen to this everyone, Mark Adelstein, chair of law firm Morris R. Forrester's Global Real Estate Group said he's seeing more lenders take over office buildings than at any point since the early 1990s. So that's right, everyone. Foreclosures are happening. These huge commercial real estate are landlords. They're walking away and the banks are about to have even more losses on their balance sheet because, of course, they've been oblivious to the risk. Lenders and borrowers had a widespread belief in two things. Now, both have proven false. Interest rates they thought would stay low forever that's not gonna happen. And property values already clearly in a bubble would keep rising forever. Geez, you think these billionaires and these big billionaire bankers would be a lot smarter than this. Now a $1.5 trillion bill is coming due with property values, especially office space and some big city uh, hotels are plunging like a rock. But wait, there's more. There's estimates that as much as 83% of outstanding securitized office loans won't be able to refinance if interest rates stay at the current levels. People, this is not me exaggerating. I don't know how else I can put it, but when you look at the facts, when you look at the data, the majority of commercial real estate office buildings are gonna go bust. This is a multi-trillion dollar industry. The bank's already in massive, massive trouble. And just like in 2008, the same thing is happening with the commercial real estate sector. They took on these interest-only loans. They took on these loans. You're gonna have jumbo payments and they're not gonna be able to refinance. The commercial real estate market has already been in a massive bubble and these office buildings are going to become worthless as crime keeps on getting worse and more people leave to work from home. So you may be thinking, well, okay, how can you protect yourself? Well, this is not financial advice, but what I'm doing is I'm diversifying into gold and silver. Because when there's times of uncertainty, when there's a financial crisis, people will flood to safety, and that is gold. It has stood the test of time through every financial crisis. Also, in case the central banks start lowering interest rates and printing money again like crazy to bail out these landlords, I'm also diversifying in Bitcoin in case of a market melt up too. So again, if you're wanting to know how to build wealth and master the cycles of gold, silver, and Bitcoin, the link is in the description. But everyone, what do you think about all of this? I think it's inevitable, but let me know your thoughts below. Now, from my all viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.